Hello, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3, where we are finishing out the game today. Noble Lords of Cinder. The fire fades. Poor Ludlith. And the lords go without thrones. Surrender your fire to the true heir. Let him grant death to the old gods of Lordran, deliverers of the first flame. Okay. Had to start that in a bit of a rush because I accidentally knelt before the flame during my pre-episode ritual of swinging at a wall and timing things out. But at least I managed to already be recordings and, and it was long enough spent just kneeling in front of the thing that everything worked out all right. So, this takes us to the first flame, but isn't there supposed to be another bonfire that takes us to the dreg heap? Or another something that takes us there? Maybe we actually do have to go a little bit deeper here. Yeah, this does look an awful lot like the dreg heap. Ah, there it is. But we're not here for that. We're here to finish everything off. And bring an end to this playthrough. Because as good of a time as I've been having with this game... I'm ready to be done with it for a while. Especially considering recording things for multiple consoles at once, like I'm doing now with uh, Breath of the Wild and this, is annoying because I've got to swap the HDMI connected to my uh, capture card between recording things. So, health-wise, this guy is clearly not going to be an issue. Though I do need to do a better job of picking my moments. And also, apparently, of being within range. We may be using the same sword, but 
his has reach on mine. And now he's a caster. Can, can you have those things fire off, please? I don't like them just sitting there. There we go. Yeah, sorry, you're not catching me in that laser. And now it's a curved sword. How cool would it be if the version of that sword that we have could change modes? Maybe it can. Nope, that's not a mode change. Though it is all flamey now. So I know the different styles this guy uses are meant to represent different characters in the Dark Souls universe. Who is this curved sword using poison pyromancer type person? Now. This poison is lasting a while. Doesn't this guy have another phase after you deplete his health bar? I think he does. Oh, we're back to this, are we? Do I have time? No, I don't have time to use a poison curative. But now I've got time. Okay. need of better dodging. Okay, I get it. You don't want me to use Great Heal. I understand where you're coming from. But I disagree. Ha! Health positive, bruh. Okay, that was probably not so positive. I should probably just, yeah, throw this one away. That's fine. A and as amusing as it is challenging him with his own weapon, I think I'm gonna swap to something I'm more familiar with. Let's just whip on out this refined Lothric sword. I'll keep his armor on just because I was already against the standard, considering I was using this Black Knight shield rather than just going one-handed. So, really, it's not a huge departure also using a different weapon. And this time, we'll do things a bit better, and we'll also slap some tears on at the start. I wonder if we would be able to at least see where the ringed city hangs out from here. But I doubt it, because then either it would have been in the skybox from the very beginning, or they would have had to add it to the skybox later on. And I can't see them doing either one. Why is this so bright compared to everywhere else? I don't know. Wasn't there a summon sign there or somewhere near there on our last playthrough? I think there was. 
but it was for a uh, Londor guy. And we kinda, uh, we, whoops. Forgot to swap to the shield. That's fine. Swing's a bit slow. Okay, you double swinging. Oh, and you're in caster mode now. I feel like I should have been able to do a critical there. And maybe I would have been able to if I was, like, exactly perfectly in front of him instead of slightly off-center like I was. Oh. That is a bit wider than I expected. Don't poke me. I do not appreciate being poked. I've been poked. That strike he just got me with doesn't feel like the animation doesn't feel like it justifies the damage it does. Actually, getting a better look at it there. Maybe it does. Yeah, I feel like I should have been able to do a critical hit there. Why couldn't I? Is it just that he can't be critical the hit and that knockdown is just, hey, you get a couple freebies? It's possible. Okay, that second swing really doesn't feel like it should have knocked me up into the air considering it was a downward swing. No grabbies. Net negative on health there, I'm pretty sure. Hey. Ooh. So I guess tears don't matter because his swings have a secondary component. Huh. I feel like I didn't do this poorly against him on my first, or on my, uh, yeah, my first playthrough. I was going to say first attempt, but I know I took more than one attempt then. Though I did have help then. That's definitely something different. And actually, because we know he can poison, let's just go ahead and put those right there. And I'm still going to activate tears. Because not all of his hits have a secondary component. And having the tears active from the start at least gives us a higher chance of success or maybe it does nothing for us but if nothing else it gives us a sense of security maybe a false sense of security but it's more than what I would have by not having them ooh doing three swings now. Ow. Ow. I am just giving him this opener. Oh, there go the tears. So, they were worth using. I don't know why I'm looking for my souls. They literally mean nothing. Because I am basically done with this character after this fight. Pyromancy mode, huh? Pyromancy mode is fine.
Yeah, no, you're not poisoning me that easy. Not this time. Ow. I'm not doing so hot on this particular attempt. If it was possible to do a critical on him, it would make a different noise when you hit him. So it must not be possible. The knockdown is just for some freebies. I need to not let him hit me with all those things. Oh no, you don't. I don't know why I was thinking he was healing. Clearly he hasn't healed. It would be a little unpleasant if he could. He was just empowering himself. Ow. Okay, let's get a great heal here. And then some tears. Okay, probably shouldn't have used the tears, especially with what we know about this phase. Having fun being Gwyn there? He doesn't have too much health. So as long as I'm not super greedy like I just was, like, he'll go down before too long. We just need to not be idiots. Okay, that's being idiots. It's fine. Shouldn't take too many more attempts to bring him down. I freely admit I am not the best player of this game. Not even close. Not even remotely close. You know, I think I'm going to go ahead and change my armor. Wear something that I actually like for my own aesthetics, because it's going to be in the final cutscene, isn't it? So yeah, let's go back to Drake Blood. I know we get a chance to change our gear before the actual ending kicks in. But still gonna gonna just do this now. Cuz it'll also make the fight slightly easier considering that the Drake blood armor is just straight up better against most things. It is worse against fire, which is notable, but it's better against physical, and I do believe there's probably a pretty sizable physical portion to most of his attacks, and I think it was better against sorcery, but that may just be wishful thinking. I wasn't paying attention to that number. Forgot to apply my tears. That's fine. We're not really going to be in danger of running out of FP during the fight considering he doesn't give us enough time to cast for that to even be a worry. I pressed square when I meant to do, like, not that. That's okay. We're one Estus down for no reason. Wow, nice miss, bro. Okay. I need to play a little bit more patiently. Because otherwise I'm just giving him free hits. And giving him free hits is how you lose.
Ooh. Dodge both swings of that. I feel like it's his this mode and his caster mode where he gets me the most. This mode mainly because he does things like that. Thanks for all the free hits, bro. don't want to get caught in that big laser. Okay. That's the end of that phase. Probably should have used Great Heal. Well, got a little bit too close there. I do not like that combo. <laughs> I don't like, like, any boss's combos. Like, if you'll recall, Gale's first phase, it was his combo that was the thing that I never was able to properly dodge. Okay. Buddy. No, no grabbies. No grabbies. Ow. Kind of annoying that that looks like it buffs him, and it also definitely breaks your lock, which I rather like being locked onto single targets. Don't kick me. If he had kicked me while my shield was up, would that have broken my guard? Oh, that's right. He can do this. I, I didn't remember exactly what was coming, but I remembered it was definitely a storm of something. Thanks for giving me that time to heal for free. As long as I don't do something Okay, I did something stupid. Okay. No! Well, this is... Not death thanks to tears. Okay, rolling to the side a lot here. Because that would have been lethal. Anything would have been lethal. Okay, bad timing. Though I don't know that there will really be any good timing for the rest of this fight. Should I just go for the hits? I'm pretty sure I'm three hits away from killing him. No! If I was a little bit braver, I might have been able to get a second hit on one of those spots where I got one. But hey, cowardice is a thing. Okay, another ember. Some tears. I had a pretty decent phase one that time. But phase two things definitely fell apart. And yeah, if I didn't go for that great heal at that one point, I probably also could have done it. 
There is such a thing as playing too defensively, I guess. Whoa there. Yeah, I can't just be like, oh, hey, he's not attacking right now. I can just go for a swing. Because if he's not attacking right now, that literally just means that he could attack at any moment. And if he does attack, I don't want to get caught in it. Okay, we're casting now. And now we're done casting. Oh, didn't dodge that in time. Ow. Oop. Well, hey, we only got hit by the very tip and only for one little hit there. Okay. Phase one down. Using great heal. Because we've got time. Okay, one negative of using great heal like that. The stamina consumption. I need to stop getting hit by that combo. It does so much damage. And if you take one hit, you take all of the rest because that's just the way it works. Don't kick me. And do not try and grab me. Ow. Sir, I do not wish to be grabbed. I also do not wish to be kicked. Okay, we'll just do some rolling here. And we're good. Or it's not quite that one. Okay, so apparently you don't get hit by all of them if you get hit by one. You have to be close enough, maybe? Okay, if I miss one attack, that doesn't mean I have time to go in for one that hits. I know that's my general strategy in games. If something doesn't work, keep trying it until it works at least once. Like, or if I'm trying to do something and I fail... I usually try again until I get one success. Like, if I try and swing and I miss, I'll usually keep on trying to swing. Three hits. That actually didn't do much damage at all. So those hits practically work. Oh, this is this move, and we've been hit by it. Great. Ow. Okay, health. Ow. I really should be pressing the offense right now, but... Eh, we're good. There we go. Okay, so we gave her the eyes. So we summon her here. Okay.
first flame quickly fades. Darkness will shortly settle. But one day, tiny flames will dance across the darkness. Like embers linked by Lord's past. I should have let my tears fade, but then again, this is kind of interesting. Ashen One, hearest thou my voice still? Mm-hmm. All right. So that's another ending of Dark Souls 3. There's still two more, but I'm not going to get them on camera. And I'm not going to get them for a long time, probably. I, I do enjoy this game quite a bit, but sometimes I've just had enough and there's other games I want to get to. Yeah, for those of you who joined me through both runs, that's cool. Thanks a lot. And for those of you who just joined me recently, that's also cool. I hope you have enjoyed watching as much as I've enjoyed playing and in certain cases more than I've enjoyed playing. But, yeah, that's Dark Souls 3 for the second time, I guess. Set out to start this quite a long time ago, but we got here. I mean, there were some times where I couldn't keep recording this, like when I first moved to Japan, my capture device I had then didn't work here because apparently it needs the full 110 volts to actually be picked up by my computer. Whereas Japan only does 100 volts from its outlets. So, who knows? But there was definitely some time where I couldn't play this and then when I was able to record it again there were so many other things I was recording. Finally got around to it though. And I'm glad I did. Having this checked off feels good. Anyway, we've seen these credits before, so... Uh, yeah, let's not begin Journey 3 just yet. Alright, well, that is it for Dark Souls 3. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next game. <laughs>